Welcome to lesson 3.2 Today we are going to create a color slider Okay, a color slider um, Okay, computers use uh, red, green and blue to create a lot of colors And uh, the color slider Okay, the colors for the red, green and blue uh, Is made of minimum 0 and maximum 255 value So if we change the value of the colors it will change the mix and uh, it will come out a different color okay so uh if all the red green and blue is uh, set to zero it will be black but uh if we have it at uh 255 255 and 255 we will get white okay so uh we are going to create a uh, app to use the sliders so um, we are going to build on this uh, multi view app so we created BMI calculator in the previous lesson we are going to create another button now so hold option key and drag out another button okay and uh, we are going to drag it centered okay and we are going to name this button color slider next okay so um, we are going to declare the color slider button Here, I, I decided to change the radius to 10 and button RGB dot layer dot corner radius equal 10. Let's run. Okay, so color slider does nothing. BMI calculator brings you to here. Okay, next. We are going to create a new uh, view view controller. So I'm going to just uh, track this up. Okay, and. Okay, this is the one that we are looking for. Drag this out. Creates a new view. And we will drag it here. Okay. Alright, next, link this button to the view, show, done. Then we will need a new view controller, just press command N, command N means a new file, so we will open up a new Cocoa Touch class, okay, we will create a new Cocoa Touch class, okay, make sure it's UI view controller, and we are going to shorten this view controller to BC and this will be called color BC okay or you want to call it shorten it to RGB for red green blue BC is also okay we are going to call it RGB BC okay next create done go back to the main dot storyboard we are going to set the identity so go to the identity okay identity inspector then we choose the new RGBVC done then we will just hide this first and uh, ok 
Okay, so when you open the assistant using a command option shift enter or you go to ed editor and click on this assistant, this will pop up. Make sure you choose the view by clicking on this. Okay, and uh, check that this rgbvc.swift. Okay, so this is correct. Next, okay, I'm just going to close this first. Uh, we will add in uh, sliders. We are going to add in uh, one slider. Okay, and uh, we're going to drag this to the end. Okay, to the edges. So we are going to use the safety, the guides uh, to help us. Then we will use this uh, to help us adjust. So in this uh, slider, we are going to change the value. Okay, the minimum value will be zero, and the maximum will be uh, you can say it as two five five. Okay, and uh, the value starting value will set it to zero. Okay, so this will be the starting, and uh, next the tracks we can actually change the color. So maximum track can set the color to another color so let's say I set it green this will be green okay or you can just uh, remain as default the thumb tint I also can set the color this time I will set this to green okay and I'm going to duplicate okay and uh, I'm going to just put this uh, maybe here okay and this will be red then okay this will be blue okay red green blue so these three sliders uh, I'm just going to use these colors to denote uh, what they are controlling okay next so when we slide these three sliders it should change the color of my view okay and uh, we are going to start to do the coding okay so here uh, when it starts to load we want to first give it a title you can either click double click here okay and uh, give it a title or actually you can also use this method to give it a title self dot title equal to color slider okay let's run it okay so now it's like this with the title okay next uh, when all three the red green and blue is at zero okay what color does it gives us so if I change this to 0, 0, 0, it should be black. So we can actually start the get the starting color as black. So we can say cell dot view dot background color. Okay, when you type in background color, you will see that the they will tell you okay, background color, it wants a UI color. Okay, so background color equal to UI color color dot black oops black okay so running again okay so this is the starting the sliders we can slide it okay so um yep so this is the beginning next we will need to uh, declare the sliders so i'm going to Okay. okay, this will be called slider red slider green and then slider blue done. So when we when we use this slider, we will we will start to change the colors. 
So actions, when this slider changes, okay, UI slider, make sure it's action, value change. Okay, so uh, this will be change uh, background color. Okay, you can just put it as, as this, change background color, uh, click connect. Okay, so when uh, the sliders change, we will want to change the color. Okay, so uh, we are going to start to do this. So it's the same thing as the bottom. Okay, this portion. So I will copy this first. You see here. So when we slide the time, it will change the background color to another UI color. So how are we going to use this tree to create the color? So simply we just say uh, UI color bracket and uh, scroll through uh, here there's this red green blue alpha so this is what we are going to use okay so uh, then we will just uh, bring it down to a new line for red green blue and alpha so alpha is an instant alpha it's a transparency how, how we want it to be uh, translucent transparent so uh, this will be one Okay, and uh, we are going to put in the value when the slider changes. Okay, the, it will, this slider changes value, it will trigger this function. Then you will need to read the red, green and blue slider, what are the values, and change the background color. So we are going to uh, need to get it from the slider. So slider red dot value. Okay, sliders current value. Okay, so sliders, slider rate value. Then we click on this. Yeah, just now it says CG float. So we it need to be converted to CG float. So you just need to click fix. And uh, Xcode will help you fix this. Okay, next we will put a, uh, because uh, this UI color accepts a uh, zero to one. Uh, the value is 0 to 1 but our slider is 0 to 255 so we need to take the value divided by 255 okay in order to get a, a decimal next we are going to copy this paste this change this to green paste change it to blue okay done okay so now i'm going to run this Okay, and color slider, when I slide this red color, it will start to change the color. Okay, but the other sliders doesn't work. Okay, doesn't work. So how? We need to link them to this function. So in order to link this to the same function, we need to open up our this uh, inspector. Okay, and uh, okay. So when we click on this view control, it changes. Uh, we are going to click on this uh, red. We need to look at the connections. So slider red in the red, green, blue, BC, this declare slider red, red, green, blue, BC. Okay. And value change. Okay. This is the function change background color. So we just need to link these, uh, link this to the link the three sliders up to the same function so i just click on green okay and we just need to drag this out to here connect and then click on this drag to here connect. so these three when they slide they will actually call out this function let's run this Okay, so red, green, and blue. Okay, so when it's night, the colors will change. This is the end of uh, lesson 3.2.